Hello, how are you? Just like the title says, how to download a YouTube video using a particular program that I think is very, very good. It is called, it's a freeware, the, the name even says, free FLB converter. When you open it up, you can do everything from inside the program. You can even search for uh, videos, just like you were in YouTube, in that little box. Let's do an example here. Downloading videos to Zoom. And we're gonna choose five. I only wanna see five of them. But it can do as many as 40. 40 samples. And then when they come, when they get downloaded, which is fairly quickly, then you can you can preview them, you can sample them one by one. Let's take the first one. Let's click on it and make sure you highlight it to and then preview. That's the preview button. But make sure you highlight the whole line so that it looks blue the way it is there. Okay, and then here you have the video and it has voice because of the red little bar at the bottom but you cannot hear the music unfortunately or fortunately because it's kind of a loud music <laughs> okay let's try another one How about this one okay let's preview it it's the same video you see why because the video that we are using is the one the one that is highlighted, the first one at the top. So the check mark doesn't make a difference. You have to highlight the line. Okay, let's preview it now. Yeah, that's what I said already. Check it and, pre and highlight the whole line and there it is. It also has music because of the red bar at the bottom. Let's try another one. How about the second one? That one I never got right. Let's preview it. And there it is. It doesn't have any music because of the bar at the bottom is black. Notice that you can also, you also have the duration and the, the time when it was added in YouTube, seven months, five, 18 minutes, that's pretty nice. So you, you know, it's, it's really a nice application. Okay, now, we're trying another one. Oh, we, we did that one already, didn't we? Oh, I know why I did it again, because I wanted to make sure. Uh, that the check mark work or didn't work. Anyway, we're doing one more. The last one. This one. Preview it. So you see, you can do everything here without even going to YouTube. You can download the sample, you can check them, and then the, when you choose to download one, like this one, for instance, we're gonna choose, we're gonna download this one. We highlight it and everything. We click on the download arrow. And presto. Let's go to the next page to the download page. Right there. To the downloader. And there you have it already in progress. percent ten percent and below it tells you the mode no two things downloading and converting so you can al you always know what's happening you're either downloading or converting the file you can also convert more than one file I don't know if nine is the maximum there maybe it is but that's pretty good no? you can download I can imagine anybody download that many videos but you can do it Uh, what do we talk about? Oh, okay, and it has the, the output configuration, of course, the format. 
Custom, high quality, medium quality, the path for the videos where they will be placed, and all the regular information is there. Most of it is automatic, except for the first one, the MP4, more or less, and the, and the preset. Okay, so let's see how are we doing here. 94% 95 downloading. See? Downloading, okay. Well, let's see what happens when we get to 100. It should go it should go immediately, automatically into converter converter mode and it is. See? It's even showing you the movie as quickly as it is being converted to MP4. Yes, it is converting. You can look down there. 44, 46%. Yeah, 52%. And it's showing it at the same time. The, I got to tell you, the only thing that I didn't like about this program it was that during installation, I think I forgot to uncheck the little box in one of those, you know, when you were installing it. And if you don't uncheck it, 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 the, the, the program installs a Yahoo search engine in your, in your um, IE, in your Internet Explorer. And I was pretty upset about that. So I had to remove it. Um, uh, but that was the only thing. Other than that, the installation was fine. And there you go. Look, successful. We're finished. So guess what happens now? The file goes to the folder which happens to be the folder for my Zoom, the input for my Zoom. So I go there and I open my Zoom application. And there is the first page where I have my CD-ROMs, for sure. And I click on video right there. And okay, where is the video? I should find it. Okay, and there it is. I found it. And the only thing that I have to do is drag it down into my little uh, Zoom icon. And that's it. Okay, I'm uh, just gonna wanna show you the, this, the cradle for the zoom. That's where it sits. If you don't have this, please get it. It's very useful. It does a lot of functions. It charges the zoom. It uh, downloads the files from the computer to the zoom. It lets you hook it to your uh, computer system, your speakers, and it sounds loud, like, a, you know, really nice. And it comes with it remote control as well so you can see it in your bed and with the little remote control you can put it on a table and you can control it advance it increase the volume decrease the volume really very nice okay bye bye i hope you enjoyed it and learned a lot okay until the next time bye bye